Serena, welcome back to New York. I mean, I like to say New Yorkers go big. You go bigger. This <laughs> week alone, your daughter turns one and the U.S. Open starts. Uh, it's been an amazing year, having the baby and then coming back. And it's so special um, to have Olympia turn one soon. You know, maybe I'll be playing on that day and I'll just have those memories of being in the hospital and giving birth to my daughter. Don't call it a comeback. You very eloquently stole a line from LL Cool J and said, don't call it a comeback. <laughs> Why? I was gone, obviously. And, and technically, I guess it is a comeback if you break it down. But for me, uh, I was always there mentally. I always, you know, was watching and being a part of it. And I never wanted to sit, hang up my racket at that point. So I'm just still trying to compete and win Grand Slams. And uh, most of all, do it while I have a daughter. Does it show how tough people are on women? I'm guessing when your husband went back to work after Olympia was born, no one called it a comeback tour for him. He just went back to work. Exactly, right? Isn't that, isn't that weird? But it is true. Um, no one called his work a comeback, and he had to take time off, too. And women definitely have a double standard and, and so many different things. So for you, is it more important to win as a mother than it was before? Because you've got even more doubters. You know, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I, um, for me, I want to win whether I'm a mom or not. Obviously, I want to win while having Olympia and say that one day I'll tell her that, you know, she was born and I still kept winning. Um, but at the same time, I don't have to win another match in my whole life. I've done so much in my career. And um, right now I want to just focus on having fun out there. And ironically enough, that's when I start to play my best tennis. Most of us would have guessed, given your training and travel schedule, you would not have your baby by your side, but you have and you're not taking it as a burden, you're taking it as a gift. I am taking it as a gift. We've spent every day together since she was born, been born, and I work around her, but I'm really fortunate. A lot of women don't have that opportunity, but I feel that since I do, and I can kind of do my own schedule, that I want to have spend that time with my baby as well. Sometimes you worry that you're not gonna be a good mom. Yeah. All of us have that fear, but with you, everything you've ever done, you're excellent at. It's about peak performance. But when it comes to motherhood, there's no titles, there's no manual. Who's guiding you through this? Well, it's interesting. I have my mom, she's had five kids, and so that's really cool. But what I think is super interesting is the fact that I'm relying on everyone else. I think in this age of social media, it, it presents a different opportunity. So when I'm feeling down, or I'm feeling stressed, I literally will write about it. And I get the most impressive feedback and help. And I feel like, I'm getting so much help from all the moms and dads, by the way, and parents out there. Um, like when I missed Olympia's walking, I posted about it and so many parents wrote in and said, don't worry about it. I missed it too. And I didn't realize that it was almost more normal to miss it than to make it. Here you are at the U.S. Open with so many people rooting for you. Mm -hmm. But do you ever worry that sharing this much only gives a narrative to the critics who want to doubt you? I don't feel like you know, I'm doing too much and giving critics a narrative. In fact, I love critics. I feel like you need the good and you need the bad. You know, Superman needs Lex Luthor. <laughs> so, or else it wouldn't be a, a show to watch. So I feel like that's super important to have. And that's how I look at it. And someone once told me, Billie Jean King, that press, pressure is a privilege. And I'm in a position where I feel that weight on my shoulder is actually a privilege for me. So before we go, what do you want to say to New York, to the world? We know you returned to the court for Wimbledon, but now you're back on U.S. soil. Well, this is just the beginning. And for like every new mom out there, it's, this is the beginning of a new life. And that's how I feel. This is the beginning for a new career for me. And yeah, it's weird that I say that in tennis, but it is. I'm not going to be gone after the Open. I'm going to be in the next Grand Slam and the next and the next and the next and the next. It's just, it's just going to keep going. And so, yeah, I'm going for this one. But if not, there's, there's one in January and there's four more and there'll be eight more. And so for me, it's just, just, this is just the beginning of my, of my playing. But don't call it a comeback. A champion a is a champion. <laughs> Serena, thank you. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.